Okay, for this problem, we are asked to find the minimal surface of a soap film around two hoops. So our two hoops are going to be like this, at some radius r, pointing up along the z direction. So we need to find the minimal surface between these two points, um, but around these two of some soap film. Okay, so the soap film, you might naively think that it would form a perfect cylinder because the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. But there's also something else going on here. The, there are stresses and strains inside of the film itself. So we can imagine that it might be tugging on it or you know, deforming that a bit. So let's actually not assume that and let's do something else, okay? So first let's assume that this shape is rotationally symmetric. So that means that it's not going to be some distance right here at height Z, but on the other side of the cylinder, it'll be a different distance. Let's say they're the same distance. That seems like a reasonable assumption. Okay, so in order to minimize this, we're gonna use an Euler-Lagrange equation. And so we want to minimize some functional F, okay? So for our functional here, let's actually minimize surface tension. Fortunately enough for us, the, uh, person that came up with this problem told us that surface tension is actually proportional to surface area. So in fact, we can minimize surface area and also minimize surface tension, which should give us the correct answer for this shape. So let's say that we are functional as A, okay? And Y is going to be R. It's gonna be some, you know, it's gonna be some shape. And then X here is going to be um, Z. So our functional then is going to be dA by dr minus d by dz of dA by dr prime is equal to zero, okay? And we can actually use the chain rule here to help us out a little bit, which you'll see later. This becomes dz by dr, dA by dz, minus d by dz, dA by dr prime, okay? And this simplifies to d by dz of a minus r prime, dA by dr prime is equal to zero. So this will become, you know, a little bit clearer in a second. So let's go ahead and set up our area function. So let's look at our area. So our, we're gonna need to integrate, obviously, here. So we're gonna need to integrate from zero to h. So then let's go step by step, infinitesimally. So if we start here, right, what is our distance going to be? Well, well let's think about the distance around the film. The distance around, around the film is the circumference of a circle with that radius r. So we're going to have sur some circumference 2 pi r of z, right? So we have a line, and in order to get an area, we need a height to multiply that by. So the height in this, in this case is going to be some infinitesimal amount height that we're going to multiply it by. So that height in our case is just going to be the differential line element. So that will look something like this. All right, and there we go. Now we have our area differential, so we have our functional, okay? So what's gonna happen here is that we can actually take these, we can plug this into here, so we can take the partial with respect to our prime here, and then we can plug in the area here and then take the derivative of all of that with respect to z. And once we do that, we get something that looks kind of like this, because it's just math at that point. Now we could set it equal to zero, but in our case, let's set it equal to a constant. If we have a constant, then in our final answer, what we can do is we can use that to solve the initial conditions. So here, it needs to be a radius r at 
z is equal to zero and z is equal to h. But those are just details that doesn't really matter too much. So if we simplify this right here a little bit, we get something that looks like this, r over square root of one plus r prime squared is equal to c. Now, if you think of it a little bit, this is pretty easy to solve because the r prime is actually just dr by dz. So what we can do is we can rearrange this a little bit to come up with an integral. And this will look something like this. All right, and so then what we can do there is we can separate it. And we can do our integral. So we think, what are the ranges for our r? Well, we don't know, okay? So that's why at r, we're gonna have r naught, and we're gonna have r at some z position, right? So we're gonna have r naught and r of z, okay, and then we're going to have z naught to z, and then z naught in our case is just going to be um, zero, and we're going to get an h here, okay. So essentially when we do this, we actually end up getting that r, the function that our that our film will take, or at least a slice of our film in this direction, is going to be equal to a constant times hyperbolic cosine of z over that same constant. So this right here is actually the shape that this line will take. And so that will look something actually not too dissimilar from that, will look something like this. And that's actually the same shape that a hanging chain will take, um, which is pretty interesting. So when you have a soap bubble that has internal tensions and strains in it, what it will do is it'll film, it'll form a surface with minimal uh, surface tension and it'll take that shape. All right.